My name is Ian and I'm a tech here at Micro Center. Today I will show you how to create web notes in Microsoft Edge. To open Microsoft Edge, there may be an icon on your desktop or on the taskbar. If not, you can go into the Start menu, where it may be on the right side of the screen, or you can go into All Apps, scroll down to M, and then click on Microsoft Edge to open the program. Once in Microsoft Edge, simply navigate to a website. Once on a website, click on the Make a Web Note icon on the right side of the screen. The website will now have some new options. One will be Pen, Highlighter, Eraser. Those are the first three that we will look into. The pen, you can select a color and a size. This will allow you to draw on the page. So for example, if you wanted to circle a certain part of the page, simply move your mouse, hold it in, and you can start drawing on the specific page. If you wish to erase it, simply click on the eraser at the top of the screen, click on Clear All Ink. If you wish to highlight, click on the highlighter, and then you will be able to highlight certain parts of the page. And then once again with the highlighter, you can also change the size and color. Or if you wish to erase, you can simply click on the eraser icon and then click on where you've drawn or highlighted and that will erase it as well. The next thing you can do is add a type note. Your cursor will turn into a little plus. Click anywhere on the page and a text box will appear. You can type in the text box with whatever you would like. You can also drag the text box around the screen. If you wish to delete it, just click on the trash can at the bottom right. Another thing you can do is make a clip of the web page. This will automatically copy what is clipped on the page. Whenever you clip something, it will show copied next to your cursor when finished. This will allow you to paste it to other documents or save the picture that has been clipped. And if you wish to close out of the clip, simply click on another icon at the top and that will close the clipped to save these web notes, click on the save icon or click on the share icon. First, to change the options in the save, you can go to OneNote, Favorites, or the reading list, and then click on save at the bottom of the specific option. Or if you wish to share the web note, the share tab will come up. This will show you what programs can take the link of the web note page. And if you wish to close out of the web notes, simply click on exit at the right and that will return the options of the browser to normal and close out the web notes add-in. And that's all there is to it to create web notes in Microsoft Edge. For any more questions regarding Microsoft Edge or Windows 10, feel free to check out our website at microcenter.com. Head over to the Tech Center for many more articles and videos on Windows 10 and a variety of other topics. As always, we thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.